In this video, we will be overviewing using online shipping instructions. We will show you how to create an air shipment online. We will also show you how to create an ocean shipment online. This video is designed for the client of the logistics company or the freight forwarder and will show them how to use the online shipping instructions tool to create online shipping instructions. Now let's look at how customers will create online shipping instructions using the Magaya Live Track feature. First, we must log in to the Magaya Live Track feature with the credentials we have pre established. Now, if you have your very own tracking page, you already know that you will not be required to enter the cargo agent ID, simply your login name and password. Now we're emulating as if we were a customer about to place an online shipping instruction using the live track feature. So the customer selects the shipment icon and here in the list they get their current shipments that they're involved in for this month of date. As you can see this is in transit and delivered and so on. How to use the tracking component is covered in another video, how to use Magai Live Track. To create an online shipping instruction, we simply select Add at the very bottom, and then we select Air Shipment or Ocean Shipment. Let's assume we're going to create an air shipment. Here it shows us that we can find commodities by warehouse receipt, or by consignee, by part number, or by pickup order number. If I select any one of these warehouse receipts, on the right hand side I get a list of all the commodities that are within that warehouse receipt. As you can see here, it says on hand Dell 450 laptop, 12 pieces, and it gives me all the information for that commodity. If I select any other one of them, then I get a list of those. I can also select by part number. So here it says Kleenex box and all the ones that we have on hand. AT&T calculator and so on. I can also do it by pickup order. If I had pickup orders here, I would see those below. Let's assume we're going to create a shipping instruction by part number. I can select the Kleenex box and I can say I can add the entire line. So there's 131 pieces in that entry. So I can say add the entire line or I can remove that entry or I can say partial. I can say add partially and I want four pieces of that. Then of the Dell laptops, I can say I want partial as well. I want three of those and so on. I can do the exact same thing for warehouse seats. Once I've completed that, I can select the next button. And here I complete the shipper information and consignee information. Now from the drop down list, I get the companies that I've been associated with. So for now, I only have Andrew Supply and my name, which is Crystal Gross, as the shipper. If I want to change that, I can simply select from the drop-down list a new one, or I can simply create a new entry by typing it in the fields. So let's assume the shipper is Crystal Gross, and the company we're shipping to is my customer overseas. All right. And we'll put in a contact name and a phone number and then we'll put in a street number. Once we've completed that information, we select Next, and now you get prompted for a description of goods. I select my port of loading. We'll say this is going from Miami, and we'll say it's going to Nassau. 
and then my mode of transportation, and then any notes. Once I've completed that, I select Next, and I get a brief summary of everything I inputted. So it says waiting for instructions, it's an outgoing shipment, there's no master airway bill number yet, there's no booking number, description of goods freight of all kind, who the shipper is, who the consignee is, and the relevant cargo. I can also print this if I like a confirmation for myself, and when I finish I select submit. You're prompted, do you want to submit this order? We select yes, and it submits that to the forwarding agent. As you can see it's assigned a number here, House Airway Bill 105. Now let's do the same thing now for an ocean shipment. We'll go back to shipments and we'll say add an ocean shipment. All right, let's assume now we're going to do it by warehouse receipt. So the Dell 450 laptops, I'll say add partial again. Actually, I'll take them all, 12 pieces. If I made a mistake, I can say delete, and I can go back and add it again. Add partial, and I'll say six pieces. And let's assume of the Sony camcorders, we're going to select four pieces. Okay, we'll select the next button at the bottom, and same thing, shipper information and consigning information. We'll say this is going to Andrew Supply. We'll select Next. Description of goods, we'll just say Household Goods. And then Port of Loading, we'll say Miami again. And we'll say this is going to Nassau again. And then we're going to ask for that to be vessel containerized. And then notes. Please expedite on next ship. And once we finish that, we'll select next again. And then we get the brief summary again. Once we finish that, we select Submit again, and you can see it assigned us a shipment number again. So you can see creating online shipping instructions is very easy using the Magaya Live Track feature.